every little detail, the NHL absolutely hit it out of the park to pardon the baseball pun. (laughs) But when you look at the game, the atmosphere, I thought one of the things that the NHL has mastered is the time window. It's the perfect time slot. If you wanted to sit on your couch because, I don't know, if you, like you, you went a little bit too hard on New Year's Eve, then you could sit on your couch all day yesterday from 1230 Eastern through midnight. You got PWHL and their inaugural game, which we'll get to in a bit. The Winter Classic, followed by two unreal college football national semifinal games. I mean, the Winter Classic fit so perfectly and snugly into that. So the broadcast was great. The show, they did a great job. But the aesthetics from the blue line and and what that looked like to the sort of uh you know dock feel that they had as players walked onto the ice the fish as you mentioned i mean the legends from seattle sports that showed up this had just about everything you wanted for a marquee regular season matchup something totally special that by the way calling a bunch of you know friends and family catching up on new year's day hey what are you up to i'm, I'm watching the winter classic some of them casual hockey fans that it was like there's not much else on tv right now we're sick of cheesy movies from the holidays the winter classic was it only game on the slate and i thought it was beautiful that seattle seattle could get that win in what's really become clearly a hockey town um they're rolling they're red hot and vegas by the way just a 500 team over the last six weeks What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider, Frank Saravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button.